This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I'm Shekhar Gupta and my guest today is somebody very difficult to catch on the ground. He's an adventurer, an entrepreneur, once even a publisher. There is no dull moment in his life. In fact, he is what Tom Wolf would have described as man in full. Or maybe, maybe, maybe as a most famous advertising campaign for a long time says the complete man. Vijay Patsangania, welcome to Walk the Talk. Thank you, sir. Nice being uh, here and it's a privilege for me to be with you. Thank you. And no, no dull moment in your life. You always keep on doing something more interesting, more adventurous, more yeah, exciting. Yeah, I keep trying, certainly. So what you're trying to defy? Gravity, age, belief? It wasn't that I was trying to defy anything. Uh, I've always had a passion for flying uh, from a very young age. And it turned into an obsession. I think the only difference being that uh, passion may have rational, obsession doesn't. And I've done things in fixed wing planes, I've done it in small micro light plane. And it was the turn of the balloon this time. It was not that I was trying to prove something, but since Pearl Lindstrand, whose record I was attempting to break this time, <coughs> made a statement after the combination of flight that no human being will ever break my record. I said to myself, well, it has to be an Indian to do it, and they're <laughs> going to do it, so I'm going to attempt it. There were risks involved, but uh, it kept them within manageable levels. You, you, you took off in your balloon from, from somewhere here, Mahalakshmi Race Course. Right here. 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 What was the most scary mo moment of this particular flight? Well, there were some risks involved. Uh, for example, uh, the life support system failure, meaning the oxygen carbon dioxide which fortunately worked out. There was a small leakage in my capsule, which wasn't too bad, and I kept going. But um, the second thing, of course, was the failure of the mission itself, right. uh, by any systems failing, and uh, we had certain emergency procedures already worked out. Unfortunately, uh, because of the strong wind and the hurry in which they had to uh, let my capsule go, let my balloon go, Unfortunately, it didn't meet the uh, criteria we had earlier laid down for it. And therefore, lots of systems were switched off, and most of them didn't work. And uh, those which did work, I almost went into the sea soon after takeoff. Uh, but many of my, most of my burners didn't work. Some of them did. My communications failed, except uh, the VHF communication. Satellite systems failed. My cameras failed. So we had lots of failures, but... Uh, and 10 minutes after takeoff, uh, my ground people told me that the uh, Coast Guard helicopter had just been uh, right. launched and he was going to pick me up from the sea. I said, my God, that would be a very dramatic moment. And then it came to me that all your whole year's effort and right. work has gone into vain. So I used my landing burner, which worked fortunately, and went up to 5,000 feet because I had been descending at 750 right. feet a minute from 3,000 feet. Two minutes, I would have hit the sea. Uh, then I said, okay, now don't panic, PPS. You're going to make it. You're going to do it. And I said, am I going to even make 10,000 feet in this balloon? Forget 70,000 feet. <coughs> and at 5,000 feet, I, by that time, my fuel system had been pressurized. I started getting one, two, one, two, three burners working and kept on climbing. And sword. So it went on like that. But was there a moment when you were scared, when you, when you thought you were taking a chance and maybe you shouldn't push your luck? No, I don't think so. I was more worried about the success of the mission rather than a, a life-threatening situation. Right. I don't believe I went through any life-threatening right. situation. But, it but, could have been, but... Uh, but you've seen those in your flying life. Yeah, I think I've done my share of uh, wrongs in flying, prohibited things, and uh, we all made mistakes. I was reading some place that you once took your plane under a bridge on the Ganga. What happened? I wish you wouldn't <laughs> talk about it. They might put me, hang me for it. Take your license yeah. away, DJCA. <laughs> well, now I don't have a license, so they can't take much away. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> but what happened? Tell us. I think I shouldn't talk about it. I'll get into very serious trouble. No, it was a small aircraft. It flew under the bridge. It's okay. Flew it no under big the bridge where? Uh, in Kanpur. In Kanpur.